Hello and welcome. Today you will be hearing from Laura Benford, Latasha Brown, Seth Kress, Dino Massio, and Leonard Thompson as we review Mountain Man Brewing Company, bringing the brand to light. Mountain Man Brewing Company is a family-owned company that was founded in 1935 by Gunter Prangle in the New River Coal region of West Virginia. MMBC is known for the one and only beer it produces, Mountain Man Lager, also known as West Virginia's Beer. We joined the company as Chris Prangle, manager of marketing operations and heir to the business, returns to the company after completion of his MBA program. His father, Oscar Prangle, current president and owner, is planning to retire in five years and hand the reins over to his son. In light of declining sales for the first time in company history and following a national trend, Chris wants to launch Mountain Man Light to attract younger drinkers to the business and invigorate the brand. We must now analyze the information provided to us in the study to determine if this is a good decision for the Mountain Man Brewing Company. The Mountain Man brand is independently family owned and is steeped in a working class culture. The epitome of the working class man is a coal miner which is prominently displayed on the lager bottle. The Mountain Man beer is a dark, rich, bitter tasting lager packaged in a distinctive dark brown bottle. The beer has a high alcohol content and is enjoyed by working class men over the age of 45. Mountain Man Beer Company utilizes unconventional marketing techniques. Mountain Man Beer does not waste money on pricey commercials or product placement. The lager is available in liquor stores and supermarkets, making the beer more available to their target market, working class men. Mountain Man Brewing Company relied on brand loyalty with its target consumer being blue collar, middle to lower income men over the age of 45. Three reasons are identified for the decline of Mountain Man Brewing Company. The first two being changes in beer drinkers preferences and competition from wine and spirit based drinks. Facing an aging demographic in the shrinking premium segment of the beer market, Mountain Man Brewing Company struggled to maintain a steady share of its market segment against the large domestic breweries, which were spending heavily to maintain their own sales levels in this premium segment. The third reason for the decline of Mountain Man Brewing Company is the sale of beer in retail stores at large discounts. A move towards personal responsibility and moderation also combined with these factors to account for a 2.3% decline in beer consumption since 2001. The large brewing companies capitalized on the retail sales of beer using economies of scale in brewing, transportation, and distribution. This resulted in the closing of many independent breweries. The younger demographic also preferred light beer and consumed this in quantity. They were aware of Mountain Man Brewing Company, but viewed it as a strong tasting and working man's beer. Mountain Man Brewing Company did not offer alternatives to its beer selection. It is imperative to the success of a business to maintain active market research into consumer preferences and adapt accordingly. Mountain Man. The feasibility of Mountain Man Light is contingent on several factors. One, targeting light beer consumers, which consists largely of younger drinkers. Two, the targeted market cannot erode the company's brand equity. Three, 
Mountain Man Brewing Company would have to minimize the light beer's cannibalization of its core lager. Four, Mountain Man Brewing Company would have to position itself to ensure that sales from its light product would compensate for any potential cannibalization of its core lager. And finally, Mountain Man Brewing Company's light sales would need to generate a profit in two years. Our next slide illustrates the feasibility of launching a Mountain Man light product. The light beer market in 2005 was 18,744,303, with a 4% compound annual growth rate and a quarter percent market share every year. We could project that the Mountain Man Brewing Company revenue from light beer sales would be $4,727,295, and in 2007, that would be $9,832,793. Drilling down even further on these numbers, our next slide illustrates a break-even point of barrels sold at 65,012 barrels, also taking into consideration a two-year declining sales rate, and a 5, 10, and 20% cannibalization percentage for years 2005, 2006, and 2007, we see that as long as the cannibalization rate is under 5% in 2006, Mountain Man Brewing Company generates a profit. And in 2007, as long as the cannibalization rate is under 10%, Mountain Man Brewing Company generates a profit. Once our feasibility analysis has been concluded, we do a SWOT analysis to underscore the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats associated with Mountain Man Brewing Company. Their strengths are that they've been a market leader in West Virginia for more than 50 years. They're an established family-owned brand name, and they have a strong brand equity. The weaknesses of Mountain Man Brewing Company Lager is that it's not popular among younger drinkers, and it's not popular among women. Also, they only produce one lager. The opportunities are that they have a chance to target a younger demographics. They can appeal their light product to women, and they can increase lifetime customer value from both demographics, women and a younger population or segmentation. The threat of substitution, however, is real, and they also have a real risk of canalizing uh, their, core, their core brand. Based on a quarter percent of the market share every year, our next slide illustrates a six-year a six window of projected light beer sales and expected new product sales from Mountain Man Brewing Company. Our next slide is a beer drinker's profile, which gives Mountain Man Brewing Company the opportunity to identify and target those segments with the greatest opportunity. The consumption by beer type slide reinforces the conclusions from the data we've already analyzed, and that is that the light beer market is a great opportunity. Our recommendations considering available data that the light beer category accounted for 50.4% of volume sales in 2005 compared to 298 in 2001. The projected regional revenue growth is at 4% annually, with an opportunity to grab 25% of the market share annually, while targeting a segmentation that accounts for 27% of the total beer consumption and spends twice as much per capita on alcoholic beverages than consumers over 35 years of age. And assuming that the rate of cannibalization remains under 5%, yes, a light beer under the Mountain Man brand is feasible to launch. Given the information provided, 
Should Mountain Man Brewing Company follow through with the launch of Mountain Man Light? What are the pros associated with launching Mountain Man Light? The company could see an increase in revenue by catering to an untapped market of younger male and female drinkers. By doing this, they would diversify the brand, enhancing its core value and image. What are the cons of launching Mountain Man Light? While today's society is very health conscious, this trend does not seem to be in line with a brand such as Mountain Man. A light beer can be viewed as a lack of masculinity, which could contradict what the brand strives to evoke. A light beer could also make it appear to be similar to many other mainstream beer brands. That could cause them to not stand out in the way they would like. It's obvious that they would like to be unique based on what it states on their website, beer for people who color outside the lines. A light beer could also be a potentially inferior product to the standard beers that they carry. By carrying a light beer, it appears that they're trying to compete with many of the mainstream companies that carry these light beers. It might be better for them to stay more of a niche product and go after the market that they have been from the beginning as opposed to trying to open up to multiple markets. That could cause a failure in multiple areas as opposed to a success in one area. That now brings us to our main question. Should Mountain Man Brewing Company launch Mountain Man Light? After weighing the pros and cons and reviewing the market analysis, Mountain Man Brewing Company should launch Mountain Man Light. Thank you for joining us as we analyzed Mountain Man Brewing Company bringing the brand to light.